Hi everyone, on today's episode I'll be attempting to make a project using crayons. Now the reason I say attempting to make a project is because I have no idea if this is going to work. So my plan is to take these crayons and melt them into this ice cube tray. going to pop this in the fridge so it can cool down. So the wax is now cooled down, let's see if we can get it out. Okay, are we ready to take a look? Let's hope we didn't get a brown mess. Oh wow! That actually looks really good. Well, I'm really happy with that. Now, as you can see, this cube has a bevel on the bottom and that's because the mold had a bevel inside. Now, I think it might be best if I match that same bevel on all these edges. And I think the best way to do that is to start drawing. Well, that's not much of a drawing, but I guess it is art. I gotta say, that looks really good. What do you guys think? It almost looks like a little gem. I reckon these would be really fun to make with the kids as well. They'd be able to draw with all different colors. So now that I've been able to make this cube, I guess the next question is, what am I going to do with it? And if you've been around the channel a while, I think you know what's going to come next. Let's pour ourselves a base layer. I'm now going to pop this in the pressure pot to cure. So now that my base layer is set, I can glue down this cube and mix up some more resin. As we've learned in previous episodes, Wax can melt from the heat that's generated during the curing process, and that's why for this episode, I'll be using River Pour. Now River Pour is a slow curing resin, which will generate less heat, therefore it shouldn't melt our cube.
Now just in case something bad does happen, I'll be using PotCam. Well that looks really good, and nothing bad happened. Now all I have to do is get it out of this container, onto a waste block, and then we can start turning it. Oh no, did I go through? Wow, that is close. It's right on the corner. It almost looks like I went through, but I didn't. Now I know you guys have been asking for a while that the next sphere I make to leave the base on. So I decided to do it with this one. Now if for some reason it doesn't look any good, I'll be able to part it off later and turn it into a full spear. But for now, I'm gonna give it a sand and a polish.
So now that I've finished sanding and polishing, it's time to take a look. But before I do, I want you guys to help me out. I want you to leave me a comment and let me know whether this base should stay on or off. So just comment on if you want it to stay on, or off if you want me to take it off. Now let's take a look. <laughs> 